what's happening? Reptile Metal Jen here. Metal Jen. Why don't you call me Jen? Call me Spurl. It's all good. Um, yeah, just trying to make a quick little video of my lunch break. I know there's a lot of uh, YouTubers, like animal, pretty much like animal page, you know, YouTubers, like the, their page is all about reptiles, dogs, cats, whatever. Um, don't get in over your head. And honestly, just, I don't want my house stinking. I don't have too many pets. And I just noticed some people, they mean well, the heart's in the right place. Um, you know, people can get sick from too much stuff like that anyway. And um, you know, no one thinks about that. Uh, you know, I had a friend, she had too many cats, dogs, even birds in like a one bedroom trailer. And she got in my car, it smelled like wet dog and ammonia. And it's just like, you know, in front, if she would have asked me, hey, do you think I smell like dog? I mean, I tell people, I'll, I mean, just ask. I, I care about feelings, you know, but uh, if you're concerned about it smelling, it probably does vacuum. Even my turtles, I have like superior filtration. Um, I still go in there, scoop out the old food, because especially turtle food, I mean, it's not going to smell like, you know, a red lobster dumpster in your house. You know, if you just let it set for after an hour, you got to chuck that. I keep my food in an enclosed container. The food sealed in another container that's sealed with bounce dryer sheets. You know, I don't want it to, you know, smell like fish in my house. And I haven't, you know, I like crab legs, but if I didn't go out for dinner for that, my house should not smell like that. So, you know, just letting you know. Um, yeah, lunch break's about over. Aiden's right out there in a scooter. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm done having pets. I mean, right now I'll cap it, you know, five. You know, I got the turtles. And, well, yeah, five turtles and Nikki six, you know. Nikki's, Nikki's six. Nikki makes number six. And my pets, and, I mean, he's a good bigger. It's like a dog with a tail that stays in the hot ass enclosure. I mean, it's just like, you know, I know this going in. Um, you know, and Nikki will be the star of my page, my show, because, I mean, you know, they're more interactive. My turtles, they're cool. We let them out, kind of have a hang, like my turtle party video, let them walk around, just kind of. I like to give them a change of scenery so they're not scared of me. I notice they're more chill. Uh, they don't duck under and hide as fast when they're about to bass if you walk in. I mean, they, they trust us, you know. So I don't know how people do that. Like, I knew this chick with too many reptiles, so many enclosures, like tiny little wrong size, too small aquarium, terrariums for these, you know, every lizard in the book. And I mean, the place smelled awful. And a wood chip and piss shit smell. And then... <laughs> I just felt, and it was in the base, it was in Kansas City, it's like, you know, it was cold, you know, I, I can imagine an electric bill trying to keep that, I mean, no why she could have a third world zoo, I mean, it was a lot, I'm not trying to be dis demeaning, and, you know, we're, she was younger than me, so we didn't know crap, there wasn't as much research and knowledge just out in front of you like there's, you know, there are these days, um, but these are things to think about, you have a good channel, and um, I do a lot of stuff on, you know, social media, just not on YouTube, so I'm new to the YouTube portion, but, um, you know, of all this stuff, but I mean, yeah, I just don't want to get in over my head, and people make fun of, oh, the cat lady, there's people like that, the reptile lady, there's the dog lady, I mean, you know, and I just, you gotta think about stuff, you know, how, what type of maintenance can you handle, like dogs, you have to take them out in the morning, so you need to get home, my friend, she just has to just stress for rushing to get home, and wait for them to take a dump before she can go somewhere else, you gotta factor this in with your pet owning, I mean, you know, I take care of my pets, and in the morning, I post my morning videos, mine are just, you know, to me, like, the five turtles is like having five large fish. I mean, they're, you know, once you get them set up, I mean, they're kind of, you know, they're not going to crap on your floor. They're going to bite your, the legs off your couch. I mean, these are things you have to think about um, if that works for you. And I actually love reptiles. I mean, I'm weird in a good way. <laughs> you know, I've always been told that. I'm odd. I feel like they're the underdogs of the pet world. I, I wish they could be seen in iguana. Turtles could be treated the same you know, someone's pet dog. I mean, at least they're not barking and scaring the bejesus out of me out of nowhere. I like that, you know. Um, cats are cool. I just I did my time with the cat. I had one for 17 years and not having one for 10 years, you know, almost 10 years, nine years. Let's see here. Yeah, after Aiden was one, yeah, I moved back to Texas. So, yeah, I mean, I know when I visit my folks, I get little allergies now to cats I used to not have. You go so long without being around them your whole life. You know, just... Don't get in over your head with your pets and don't hoard them. Don't be that person that stinky house. Okay, I mean, I, I just, that's my thing. I'm like, that's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> you know, I care about the animal's well being, but I'm not trying to have a smelly zoo house. 
you know, I'll, I'll follow some, like, Paul Caffaro, shout out, uh, Camp Cannon, my absolute favorites, you know, <laughs> they have so many acres, and they have stuff that's good for indoors, they have animals that are meant for outside, they have a nice, you know, it's not funky, it's not just, doesn't look like a hoarder episode, you know, <laughs> and uh, I think you guys should really watch them too, um, you know, especially reptiles, Cam Cannon, very uh, highly educated, experienced person with that, I'm a fan, uh, you know, with some that I watch the videos, so I mean, it's definitely a good, you know, re referral, if you really, and just look up, research online, you know, there's a lot of videos, do iguanas make good pets, and they're, they're hilarious to read, because there's so much, you don't know two iguanas have the same personality, you got the chill one, you know, mine's just only four months old, and he even has his days, he just didn't want to be handled yesterday, and then he's just really lovey-dovey today, so, and I can only imagine, I mean, that's good to socialize your pet, but think about this, don't have a zoo in your, you know, one-bedroom home, um, you know, I mean, I have enough square footage here, I'm very, I, I can, if I wanted to get another animal, I totally could, I'm just not going to, why, you know? I love them. I'll go out to the parks. I'll make little videos of us trying to find turtles. There's other ways to see more wildlife and be entertained or entertain your fan base. My seven subscribers, but you know, <laughs> other big two YouTube stars. Like a lot of them do that too. They go out, let's see if we'll see any turtles today or go out in nature. I'm going to go to the Dallas Zoo once they reopen their, uh, right now the reptile exhibit, I think is still not open because of Corona because the way it's set up, it's, it's pretty jam packed if you walk in. So I think it's temporarily closed off to the public. Uh, I'm going to see the albino alligator. So, I mean, I'll post videos like that showing you cool stuff. So, I don't have to have all that in my house. There's other ways to entertain your base or just yourself. So, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, if you ever known someone that had too many GD pets, you know, comment below. Like and subscribe. Enjoy your weekend.